Welcome aboard the Slave Train, digital people. Hope you're having a wonderful moment of existence. Tis another part of the Vampire Saga. I love this game. I love it. I wish I permanently owned it. I would probably play it again. I just love it. It's a cool, chill game to play, especially I've been doing it at nighttime. Um, this is one of those games that I that I definitely would have played on my own before streaming, just chillaxing at night. Got my feet up. Just playing a game till bedtime. And this is it. I love it. We ended the stream, gave it a Golden Club nomination. Well deserved. We need to find Sean Hampton, which isn't too far from here. I'm sure, there's going to be a few enemies on the way. What is that? Oh, I thought I saw like a poltergeist in there. <laughs> Bella Fishburn. Oh, you know what? Did I did I check to see? So we've got a healthy, healthy community. One that just got out of serious into stable, or maybe they dropped. They might have dropped. I'm gonna have to go help them out. Okay. We're gonna work on these three specifically. These two. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Healthy. This is good. That, not so good. Hey, yo! You got guys shooting at you over there. Should be focusing on them. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. fight. I expected there wouldn't be clear path there. I've got it now. Luska Lily, welcome in. Take a break from all the stressies. There's the vampire hunter. All right. Back to where I was before I got sidetracked. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. 
What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. Better watch your back, Mr. Reed. Alright. I'm watching it. Pretty good. Pretty nice. You really think I should go back to a safer place? Mr. Can I watch no. your back? I think you would better stay and nope. help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Nope. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Yeah, I'm taking care of them, don't worry. Wit well, Oops. well, I am not glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm not intimidated. Don't care. I'm gonna beat up the wet boot boys. Okay, I think I asked Goodbye. her everything for now. Actually, and she's I know I promised you I'd make everything there's Sean Hampton what do you know we steal everything first yeah bubble desks are nice Lily bubble desks are nice uh it doesn't look good Why the long face, Doctor? There should be an actual bubble desk. Like an office cubicle type dealio. But it's got a dome. <laughs> but it should be a see-through dome. So you're not completely secluded, but you're still safe. <laughs> a cone of silence. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. Kind of like a Submarine. Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face. Yeah, not my right eyes. This is a blessing for me to become a skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? <laughs> Since you left Pembroke, oh. <laughs> the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Oh, I had coffee grounds that somehow seeped to the bottom of my cup. Must have a hole in the filter thing. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, that's kind of grody. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, doctor. Why would I do such a thing? People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. Hmm. It's in the pits. Let's see. The darkest is the place you will find your life. I think, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he's guilty, I gotta open that, I can see behind it, I know there's something there, I've done been able to see behind it for a while, I'm trying to make a lot of progress today, I think I got three more streams at the most, Maybe, if I... Depends. Depends on how much progress I make. Maybe I could do it in two. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I forgot I have my shield. That works. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh, this guy's strong. Got good defense. Oh, the power of Christ. These, these guys, there's a lot of them, man. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm just waiting for this thing to cool off. Okay, here we go. Now. Just in time. All right. <laughs> It'll be on soon. I could just sit back in my chair, relaxed. It gives a it gives a very different vibe, I noticed too, when you're you don't have cam on. I've talked to no cam streamers about it before. Remember those people you raided after your jackbox thing? I was talking to them about it and she said the same thing. Very very chill. I remember those days, but not anymore. Now I am 80% on cam. Hmm. I guess I need to be going this way. This could be the public house Giselle Paxton mentioned. I, I feel like investigate I feel like I'm still under leveled. This is no place for you, sir. Got a shield up. Ouch, that one got me. And Saturdays and Sundays, Lily. You don't stream Wednesdays, Saturdays, or Sundays. And lately, I've been streaming all the days, just randomly. Just trying to make sure my schedule doesn't get too backed up. As far as Cuphead, I think we will try it on stream. So, probably when I'm done with this game, I guess. And then I'll do Reventure on my own. And Baba is you on my own. And that's the end of that. Hmm. Find the sewer's entrance. Well, if I'm in my Batman detective mode, I might be able to find it. Like right here. I was there earlier. Unbelievable. Embankment sewers. Explore the sewers. I better be prepared. I'm not a big fan of the shotgun. I'm going to try it out again. I'm in a more enclosed area. But... Surprise, surprise. I like the revolver better. Oh my god, this is... This is a thing. Oh yeah. Gonna be pretty, pretty crazy down here. I already it's suspected. Alright, bitches. I'm here. Oh, the last day though, I'll... Turn on the cam again so I could properly show off my cards one last time and you know that doesn't work. 
whole whole card deck. Oh, do we have ourselves our first puzzle? How cute. Before I start turning valves, I should probably have a, take a little gander. Can I go in here? I can. There must be a way to control the water level in this reservoir. There was. I need to find the wheel. I did. So Whoops. that's it. These wheels control the water level. Aha. Barrels are in the way. It seems that I can also raise the water level for a second. I saw that too. I can go down here in the nastiness. Hmm. Can't go that way. It seems. I'm going to have to destroy those barrels. Let me check this side real quick. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Well. I'm gonna have to shoot them. Is that what you want from me, game? I'm ready. That gate should shut properly now. What do you mean it should shut properly? Because I didn't do anything? There we go. Now that makes more sense what he said. <laughs> Let's try this gate. Oh, I kind of want to raise the water levels. I want to do that first. Okay, we got some stuff here to pick up. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. I wonder if I should raise the levels first. Good feeling about that. Let's raise them, see what happens. One more, right? No? Interesting. What's over here? This is the control panel. That doesn't work. Aha! I know. I'm supposed to do this, then I'm supposed to do this, then I'm supposed to do that. I think. Let's find out. Okay. Well, that wasn't a puzzle at all. I was turning it into a puzzle. You just gotta click on all three things. That's dumb. You ever so smart that you're dumb? <laughs> I'm overanalyzing everything. And it's just that. Oh well. Whatever. Okay, we have an enemy. Well. There goes that. I like this view because while I can't see as well, I can see what's important. Got some nonsense down here. 
fact that they're giving me these further proves that we have nonsense. Blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. One more. I have this thirst for blood. Okay, so it goes over there. Blood trail here. So, cutscene time, boss fight. Or both. Might be both. Oh, yeah. What are you? It reminds me of the Batman guy. Um. Rundy? These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. Ah, Rudy. You've let the beast consume you. Was that brown blood? Finally, a touch of lucidity. Oh, dear. The laws of Ascalon. I don't want to. I don't even like Asgard. Oh, oh God. Okay, so I need to remember up is for health, down is for blood. What is he susceptible to? This. I forget which is which. Let's find out. Oh, that was good. Little shield would be nice. Ah, uh, he ain't so bad. He's not so bad. Uh oh. You got a second phase. Uh oh. I don't need you doing that to me. There we go. Halfway done. Halfway done. Solomon Grundy. That was his name. I knew it. Yes, that's the guy. Oh, I wasted my health thing. I see. So, I used the blood to get me more overall health capacity. Then I use my potion. I see. Serum! That's the word I was looking for earlier. Serum. 15 seconds left. Got my shield. 7 seconds. I'm gonna do that big attack on him. There we go. Slow as a snail! There we go, that was nice damage. One more, one more. Where'd he go? Oh, I missed! No! Yeah, Solomon Grundy is a whole thing. You get to see Solomon Grundy in the next Batman game, which I'm going to play very soon. Before the end of the year, I believe. I have it on the schedule. Well, I've only done Arkham Asylum. Arkham City, the fan favorite, is next. Well, anything to get? Guess I go up there, huh? Or not? Uh, 
Um, hello? Hello? You just go back this way? Is that where I came from? No, 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 I came from up there. That's right. I fell down here. So was Grundy in... Was Grundy in the first Arkham game? I think he was in City. At least one skull has or maybe he's in... Rough. No, he was in City. This has a very Batman feel to it. I think that's why I like it too. That's part of the reason. The atmosphere. Very dark and gritty and... I even heard bats or something. Those were rats, but still. Similar sound. If not exactly the same. Minus the flapping of the wings. Now I don't know where to go. Do I go up there or do I go over here? This seems the more obvious route. Yes, it is. We are going to go up there and see what that's all about before I continue this way. No, okay, so he's in the next game. You'll like... You'll like the game's version of him. It's a ginormous dude. I want you to read... Nightfall. The Nightfall series. Find it in the DC thing. On that website. The Nightfall series is really good. How could he have made it this Highly far? recommend. There's blood everywhere. It's very famous. It's one of the ones that really got me hooked as a kid. And we were missing parts. I had one of the parts. My dad had one of the parts. I think I was missing the very, very last part. It's like a, I think it was a three part thing. It's a big old graphic novel now. It's really good. This is our domain, not yours. Look at this You've lady. Been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. These guys are cool. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon. But I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. The guard of Prewan is hunting him. He is suspected of murder. The Scars have always been hunted by humans and vampires alike. I teach them how to survive against the odds. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you, she is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. 
She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. So, this doesn't bother you? I gotta help them move out. Poor old Bridget. Alright, there's a lot of people in here. This is a whole new community. I may as well start talking to everybody. We're gonna be here for a long time, guys. Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. You know how many you guys have killed? We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Maybe I shouldn't be talking to them. I feel bad now. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Well, I wish you guys knew that a long time ago. <sighs> has stopped that oh man. Okay, never mind. We're not going to be here a long time. See if I can. Excellent. Excellent. We'll go there after we finish talking because you never know. I wonder if I can heal. Maria Jones. I wonder if we can heal people here. Whatever they are. Get any funny ideas? Look at you. Wait. Remember, I'm like a lawyer. Cost money. Okay, now I can talk to you. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. Nice. Okay. I have an important question. Let's see. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Gotta love this guy's voice. Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did? Shadows. Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered. Nightfall with a K, like K-N-I-G-H-T. Quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. It's the one that introduces Bane. It is silent. But it for the first time ever. Hatred. In any world. And it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? I have bitrate fixed. What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. I recognize the name Harriet Jones for some reason. See? It looks a lot better in that picture. She's not well. Let me rest now. Okay, alright. Wait, is there any medication I could give you? Damn. That's the healthiest person we've ever met. Ironically. Well, hello. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is Not too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna ask how long you've been hiding here. For how long have you been in hiding here? 
Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. All right, well, who are you? Well, you tell me who you are. Tell me about Harriet. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. You know... I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? The vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Okay. Your Let me... kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow... All the arrows, okay. Yeah, why live here, actually? Why let's you let's figure here, this out. Amongst the filth and vermin. Live. Here we hide. Ah. Uh, what are you hiding from? People. From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. Well, the light and is of course, probably a good... Our past. It's a good place to hide. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan. The Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can. And... Ugh. People love hanging Thank around. You. Okay. I was going to say... Again, this man's voice is so... Good. It's so sweet. But it's... He's got that... Commanding... Growl. And it just comes so naturally. I know... I know the studios can make you sound better than in real life. But damn, what a pair of vocal cords. Really, really good voice. Now. Talk to a few more people before. Well. People. With quotation marks. Am I losing my stream again? A what is happening? For your protection, master. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. I am. I'm very dismayed by my It is, isn't it? Okay, why is the bitrate struggling again? Come on. Seems like there's no one to talk to except for... Uh, okay. Picking up stuff... Picking up stuff. Captain's night shelter. I think this is. Yep, yep, yep. This is what leads into that blocked door. Watch. Oh, I can push it. Oh, that's funny. I thought he was going to say it's locked. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? <laughs> 
Are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Oh my god. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <laughs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death, I mean. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Oh. Ooh. I can embrace because I don't trust him. I don't. I I know he's trying, but he, you know, he's kind of losing his mind at this point. Uh, spare because I envy the piece he's found. No, I'm not doing that. The only other option, the turn. You sacrifice 500 XP in the process and you will heal through my blood. Well, hell yeah! My discoveries, vampire blood would enhance your metabolism, perhaps even heal you, if what old Bridget says is true. I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. <laughs> you have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel. Those still amongst the living. We go eat a couple people anyway, so make up for it. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth. <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. Yeah, one of those ways I can't is me imagine here. God intended for you to be molested to you. by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said kneel Do it. and drink. Now. Got that, that, I... It feels weird, man. I, I just feel the suckage on my wrist right now. I prefer to just, you know, give him vials. A blood draw. Probably better. 
Yeah. I'm sure you do. District will soon suffer the consequences of my action. What do you mean consequences? I always... Always got such a negative connotation. I, I prefer... It's locked, all right. A different word, maybe? You can feel the effects of my actions. I don't know. Shouldn't be any consequences. I think I did the right thing. Well, got to rest, so I guess I am going back up here. Yeah, because it's too far. I was thinking about where... It's locked. Well, damn it. I guess I can go this way. I'm sure I have to talk to them anyway. Which one? Probably. Wait, this wasn't here before. Why be it so shiny? Huh. I'm a level 15 now. My resting spot is somewhere around here. Give me a minute. I get lost easily. Gonna be up above. I remember that much. So let's take the stairs. I do know that for sure. It's up here. Where exactly? Not so sure about that part. Just keep walking around up here until I find it. Yeah. Worse. <laughs> Worse than a Karen. Oh, woe to those women and and to, to the parents who decide to name their kids Karen at this point. Like, uh, I would probably just not do that. Anyway, I just wanted to say that she's worse that if it's the same person that I'm thinking of Lily this is the one this is the gang affiliated one which I don't like my bitrate is plummeting again cool we needed that I think I have enough to upgrade this one too, maybe. No. How about bite? No. I'll just wait. This is fine. Little bits at a time. From where? Oh, from 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 where Johnny's at. Portrait of a sad saint. If you've ever lived near the docks of East End, you must know who Sean Patrick Hampton is. And if you're not, you might have heard of him. His name is starting to spread through the entire capital, and the song it sings is one of hope. Okay, I'm going to read this silently faster. His initials are EW. Okay, so they are healthy as can be. Stable. I think they dropped. I need to go back to Pembroke. Stable. 
Stable. All right. Pembroke is in trouble. The two middle ones, basically. I smell... What is that? I smell something burning. Nothing's burning. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Search the corpse. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. I must go there. This is all becoming a little personal, isn't it? Everything ends up being the... So first my sister. Now it's my mother. Wait, what is that? Oh, take some posters from the pile. These. Cool. Anti-vampire poster. Nice. Let's go to the next quest. Empire Hunter Extraordinaire. Choose what to do about Ichabod Thrag Morton's campaign. Stick five posters in the streets of the East End Ducks or burn all the posters. Oh, I see. I still have to do it. Hmm. Look at all these quests. Let's go to the first one, see what it is. I think it's all part of the same thing. That's <laughs> just a pile, puddle of Kool-Aid. Yeah. Oh man, I gotta talk to somebody new. Let's talk to him. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please. Martin Nightingale. <laughs> your merchandise. That's a cool I name. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Show me what. Show me your wares. Bomb and trigger part. I need. I need a. Damn it. Hmm. It needs to be good. Will that work? I sure hope it works. I'm gonna buy one and see. Well, actually, I can't do anything about it. Son of a bitch. I'm just buying one. I feel like I'm gonna sell you the rest of my stuff. I need money. I need money. Hey! I need my money back. Good evening. There's I no feel like that's the wrong part, so we're gonna do Show this. Me. We're gonna sell some stuff. Hmm. Got a lot of screws. Let's bring it down to... Damn! I got tons of stuff. Let's bring this down to like 150. I just gotta get some money, you know? I think if I sell 60 of these, I'll be okay. Something like that. There we go. Let's sell like, uh, I don't know, 30 of these. Maybe 25. That's good enough. Okay. I got some money back. I feel better. I'm hesitant to buy anything because I just don't know. Let's sell all these. I think some of those things that I've been selling are items to return, like the necklace and the gun. <laughs> I didn't return them, so I'm not going to complete those quests, unfortunately. But you know what? I don't care. Good evening, miss. I'm still doing I'm good Dr. for the community. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I come in? I already took my medication, doctor. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your medication? Uneven I numbers. Don't I'm me sorry. Like that, Jack. Let me in. I think I should come in, miss. 
I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, Doc. Alright, what do we have here? Enid Gilligam's house. I didn't catch her last name. I think it was Gilligam. Gilligam. Gam on her gillies. That's gross. I don't want to see. I don't want to see Gamma's gillies. It's locked. That's good enough. Let's have a chat. So, Dr. Tippett, <laughs> what brings you back here? I heard whispers you had a job at that fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. Uh... I remember my name too. I see. We've got some sort of a mental Enid, have you really like no idea what happened to your son? No idea at all. I've not seen Jack for so long. I lose track of time. Has something bad happened to him? Don't worry. Jack will come back. Yes, he will. It won't be long before he's back. He must be out there somewhere making money. Yes, that's what he's doing. What can you tell me about this part of town? Oh no, I don't gossip. That would be most unbecoming of a lady such as myself. Is anyone taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but... I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. Well, I would never say that to him, of course. Wow, Ronathan used to come in. That's wild. Yeah, the two that I experienced passing away in the Twitch community was Ronathan and... Then after that was True Princess Zelda. Who are the more influential figures on the docks? Well, I heard about some terrible illness going around. I would say in that case that it's you, Dr. Tippetts. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I've never heard that name before, I'm afraid. Goodbye, Mr. All right. Let's see what she's got. A headache. Well, I think I have headache medicine. What I'm gonna do, I need to check the area. Where am I currently? I'm, I'm here? No. I'm here. So the old lady is her. And how are the docks doing? Healthy. And I probably won't give her medicine. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I can get him up to sanitize. So let's do it. What's up, Ragnats? Yeah, see, his thing was, was his heart too, Johnny. That's what I mean. Uh, it's fine. It goes great. How was your, how was your vamping about, uh, Ragnet? These charts are telling me what the state of the towns are in. And you don't want to lose them. I don't know what happens, but you don't want to lose them. So I've gotten one that was naturally serious up to stable barely, but I think it dropped again. And this one, and this one. This one I just moved up to healthy. And I'm about to make it go even higher because I'm going to give her some so, Hidache medication. Do you require? I'm glad. I guess I don't have headache medicine. Never mind. It's only a headache. Goodbye. But they're still healthy. I think I've done everything I can do in here. I'm going to get out of here. Yeah. Tell me how your uh your 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 trip with your wife was. It's locked, all right. Talk 
top of a necropolis? Um, what's that? <laughs> well, look, carts. I know I've got something that'll strike. Teach me, Ragnets. All this money I'm finding. Five shillings. One shilling. Five shillings. Awesome. Get out of here. Oh, okay. So it did mean what I thought it meant. I was, I was second guessing myself. Okay. Now that there's more context, it makes sense. Damn. Look at all this money I'm finding. Should start buying more stuff. I can't stop finding stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you had a good time. I, I did miss you. Gotta say. Let's go see where the next thing is. I'm trying to figure out how to burn. Maybe I just walk up to these. Let's find out. He's been here this whole time. I'm an idiot. I Good thought evening, he was somewhere Mr. else. Throckmorton. Unbelievable. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? What an idiot. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Your posters were destroyed. I'm afraid your posters were destroyed. It cost me good money to print those posters. I, I remember Such meeting him somewhere else right now. Like he was way on the other side of town. Seriously. Did you really think but I forgot that they all convened right here. See recently. the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Unraveled? Like the game unraveled? Or is, is are you talking about something else? Tell me, Ichabod. Why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton Shelter? He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. Goodbye. Yeah. I thought that would go a lot worse than it did, to be honest. Okay, she's back here. So I can either bring the money back, or I can keep the money and lie, which I'll have to find out. You again? What do you want? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. I'm like, that seems like two completely different things. That makes more sense. I've identified the men who stole from you. You were right. They were members of some self-proclaimed militia. I knew it! Did you find the money, too? Yes, here it is. They thought they could finance their activities with it. I never thought a man like you would be kind enough to... I misjudged you. Badly. I'm... I'm... Well... You Thank better you. be sorry. Will you give the money back to your comrades? Hopefully she Fuck learned a lesson about judging. Me. I'll give the money to Miss Gillingham. Her son Jack was a friend of mine. He was killed recently. Okay, well, I think they're healthy. So now the next quest is to retrieve some gin bottles from his stash. All right. I don't mind doing all these quests. Seems like I can get them done pretty quick. Provided I can find the people now. The whole thing. 
You have to go around this wall. Yep. This is despicable. You're despicable. Okay, I found it. I think. I heard noises. It's above me? Or is it right here? Ah, uh, it's above me. Damn. Well, we gotta go this way and up the stairs. Don't mind me, guys. Keep doing your thing. Can I get up there somehow? No. The stairs are broken. What the hell? How am I supposed to get up there? I need to get up there. Aha! I can do my thing. Okay, so it says it's that way. We're gonna go this way. And we're gonna find it. Found it. Tom cool. has so much alcohol. He could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Now, we need to bring it back to Tom, and then we're going to go find the site where the bombing took place. Doing all the side quests now. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. Well, may as well open that. All the way over here. Boy, that thing makes me move fast. I like it. There we go, there we go. Now we're looking for... Tom Watts. Oh, Tom, Mr. Watts, where would he be? Seymour, Seymour Butts. Definitely not going to be in here. Wait a minute. No, no, sir. That's not where I want to be. He's in here somewhere. Might have wanted to take a left. Here. Teague. Let's look at our district. They're all healthy. There he is. This guy. Welcome back, Doctor. You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those Prewin guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it, it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Okay. Goodbye. We... Actually... Going to help a couple more people. Where's that? There he is. I do have enough fatigue potions. <laughs> Good evening. What? 
Oh boy, I'm gonna help you anyway. Yes. Take a dog. Okay. All right. Goodbye. All right. Can't discriminate unless they're gangsters. Who's this fish burn person? So the next quest is to locate the site where the bombing took place. Let's go do that right now. Yep, there he is. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're that doctor. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened. Just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. I never thought someone would... Well, thank you, doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No, I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Stupid bastard. Why did he park there? You're the man who hid that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave Oops. me alone. Uh... Oh, uh, do we eat him? Do you have? Oh, I still. Now we understand. Am I stupid or something? I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about the it. drinking no, and everything. I don't. I don't want to remember it. Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson Ammunitions Factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. The victims. They were not the target then. I spent so much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. Know what I'm noticing? It's so cool certain angles the lighting is gorgeous look at the shine on his ears and cheekbone on our character kind of the soft fuzzy glow the warmness of the candles at the back very well lit good graphics how old is this game anyway i sense your guilt I never bothered to check why is that did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool i still believe our fight was just or killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No way. That bomb also killed you that day, don't you see? You just die a slower death, drink mm. by drink. I know. Maybe I deserve judgment. Until that day, I'll just be Dyson the drunk, not Dyson the murderer. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change. And to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist. Which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Tsk, tsk. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. <laughs> I, I, I have never thought anarchy was a good idea. You know, there's always, there's always too many crazy things that could happen when there are absolutely no... No, uh, rules, I guess. It's already crazy enough now. I never thought anarchy would be good. You ever see The Purge? <laughs> Ragnats, what do you think about anarchy? I know you're going to have a unique take on it. 
Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. Well, of course everyone likes the ideas. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. I found him. Haha. -ha. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon. I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Uh, but not. I came all this way. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Okay. I will protect you. Because I am against the gangsters. Unfortunately, I have met several murderers during my lifetime. You don't look like them. I can tell you're no cold-blooded killer. You're right, sir. At first, it was just a simple argument between us. But the man had a bad fall. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. Well, that may be, but I'll take care of those guys, hopefully before too long. Now the next thing we have to do is in the next district. Still have to find out who is spying on Thelma. Might have been this guy. That might be why we can't do it. Let's head back. Actually, no. We're going to do this instead. Go this way. Alright, I've got... Got... Oh no, I gotta go that way! I'll have to follow this blood trail. Occasionally, you make a good point. We're being misled. Or worse. Oh, interesting. Now you show excessive work. So bizarre. I'm gonna take out this guy first. I'm gonna be spotted. I'm gonna be spotted. Cool. It worked. Okay, all dead. Wow. The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Only a golden watch in her pockets. <laughs> it's funny. We were giving that person such a hard time before, you know, looting the corpses. I mean, looting's such a, such a strong word. If it's supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to be buried with, with an item that meant a lot to you or something. I get that. Like uh, you just got five bucks in your pocket or stuff that, you know, like, what are you going to do with it? Right? Put it back in circulation. 
I don't know. I, I guess I never said... Yeah, I suppose it's disrespectful. Depends on how it's done. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. So, targeting my family to get to me. This is definitely, definitely right, personal. Then. It's a sick game, but given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. Yeah. Yes. I'm all about it. So we've discovered that. Now I actually have to get to Let me go this way. This is where we got to go. you escape you're very fast but I'll catch you interesting they've all been butchered I mean that's literally what I'm doing right now is looting bodies every time I kill them I just thought of that. <laughs> oh my god. Things are about to go down, aren't they? get up there go around come to me ooh that was right in my ears hope she doesn't scream you Think so. You know you can trust uh, me. It is. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity, some way to remember my dear Matthew. I bet you can't wait to get out of there, right? Is that is that the professor? that was irritating you? That you hated? Oh no! <laughs> F for Nemi. Oh god. The best vengeance you can have on him is just freaking acing everything no matter how difficult he is. And just smirking at him. Give him a good old smirk. Uh, Alright, Xiao Shun. I'm gonna ask you some personal questions. You should go home now. You should go home now. No, not yet. I miss my dear Matthew so much. And I can't forgive myself. 
You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. Sorry if I vexed you. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please <laughs> accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. It's a lot of reasons. Okay. Have you... This... Uh, there we go. Tell me how your husband died, Xiaoshun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm true. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, yeah. even before realizing it. Did he ha Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort, everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day, maybe, I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company, and some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Um, well, I think, oh, never mind. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not, but I still need to blame someone for me. I'm a physician, one of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? Yes. No. <laughs> but I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the- You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Doctor. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and- Maybe. Maybe. Goodbye. She does- Oh, well, no, hang on. Can... Hello again. Hello again. Gonna go with this. Gonna go this. You should recover- Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Which district are we in? Cool. We're going to get them to healthy as well. We need another treatment for a cold. Another treatment for a cold. Another treatment for a cold. So three more cold treatments. I only have two, I believe. And this one's neuralgia, which I don't have any of those. You like
Wait, what was the mission? To convince her to go back to Whitechapel. But she wasn't doing Hello it. Hello again, Xiao Shun. Hello again, Doc. Welcome back, Mr. Regnitz. Are you on? I have I've seen. Thank already done those. You should. I think you're right. Thank you for your. Aha! Maybe I'll see you again in. It worked, it. It worked, it. Okay. Now. Oh, you can trust me. We're going to. Why have you not spoken to me? Trinkets and more. Reef Barrett loses box. Check the bodies to find Samuel the Disciple. Let's try that. Okay. We're not far from that one. Just around the corner. This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. It's locked, all right. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Oh, blood trail, oh, blood trail. Where do you go, oh, blood trail? As I feared. Samuel no longer preaches the good word. Wow. This one is resistant to a lot of things. There he is. Finis. I have this thirst for blood. Yeah, that was a that was a very souped this up level 16. <laughs> Only because it was a side quest character. Thirst for blood. One more. This is Despicable. I got a report to Father Whitaker. Oops. Which is way out here. Need to exit the cemetery. That's not the exit. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy crap, I inhaled something. Probably a small dragon. <clears throat> Fruit flies aren't... There's no gnats. They're just mini dragons. How do you know? Never looked at one? Christ, someone help me! You! What have you done? Mecca Larrabee. What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. 
Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary. Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. What? Precious brother. What is Mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother? Say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, Grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were. In front of me. On a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy. To tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. <clears throat> I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? Kinda. No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete, living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge, vampires. We are not alone, Mary. <clears throat> with time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes. I'll go home. And rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. So that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. 
Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for good. Oh my god, we're gonna have to fight her? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Hang on, kill me. I didn't want to kill him. I, I was thinking I had to pick something up. I'm not gonna accept that. I can beat her without killing him. Oh man, I didn't see that coming. I mean, I, I didn't see that I was going to fight her. I thought it was just a cutscene and then like maybe I'll fight her at the end of the game or I could turn her or something. I didn't I didn't think there was going to be a fight right now. I was I didn't even have the controller in my hands or anything. Okay. I got to go all the way back over there. That's weird. I'm doing that to get some blood. No! To reload again. Kinslayer. Resisted, huh? Come to me. Oh, that works. I can get her with a shotgun. So it looks like she's pretty much immune to the stun. I was trying to knock her down so I can bite her. That doesn't work. Yeah, that works. I'll just keep using the shotgun. Give me your blood, priest. Nope. No! No! My final thoughts are just to die for. <laughs> Kiss me again, sweet brother. Uh. You left me. You killed me, brother. Rest in peace, master. <laughs> Woo, that was close. She's tough. She's mostly just fast. Damn it! No! Damn it! I'm gonna lose! Oh! Oh! I miscalculated. So when you're using the serums, one of them heals you. One of them is for stamina. They all do different things. And I was using the one for health too early. Both greedy and I guess just trying to rush it. Like, oh, she's almost there. Hurry up, finish this fight. Yeah. Okay, now we made it to the hideout. Cool, it wasn't that far away. I was already in it. Never mind. This is what I need right here. We're gonna do a bunch of leveling up stuff. I want my ultimate to do far more damage than it did. We're gonna level it up to two. It's easier if I just kill him ahead of time. But I'm not gonna do that. Damn it, she canceled it out. I'm so irritated. I already started off bad. I'm tempted to let her just kill me. 
So that way, <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about wasting all my stuff. Does that? Final thoughts are just to die for. Doing a lot more damage than I was. Abomination. Yeah. Damn. There it is. It worked. Hell yeah. Now do this. And then I'll do this. Cancel it out. Oh, and it still did damage. Nice. Now we're talking. Now I'm doing good. Uh oh. Take it easy. Take it easy. shield I don't even need to use my serums this whole time what the hell man I love it though wait how come I can't heal what's going on oh I need more blood I see okay I'll use one there we go ouch You did to Sean Hampton. You left me to rot in this grave. Not this time. Again, Not falling for it this time. All right now, I have to start using my serums. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! If you guys are chatting with me, I am unable, unavailable. Leave a message after the beep. Talk to you in a sec. Oh god! Oh god! Ran out of stamina. See, I could use a potion or a serum for stamina, but it comes back so fast. It would take more time to just try to mess around and figure out <laughs> which one to use. <laughs> Rest in peace. There we go. Got her this time. Damn. Oh, that's how the game would work. Yeah, well, it would make it easier, but I don't—I refuse to eat the priest. It's time to bring this conversation to an end, forever. You know I will not play this game. Come now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog, or think you're performing an autopsy? Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Doctor Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the harbinger bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. Well, what's the point? Killing off your family, you can't even cure them. At last, I can forgive you.
Oh, I'm controlling. I thought so. I'm just walking forward. Yep, still controlling. <laughs> that was, man. I, I, uh, not happy about it. My sister. That was a that was a good boss fight, man. Okay, so we're gonna end it here, but we'll wait and see what little cutscenes and stuff there is first. red tear for my fallen sister I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word the epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu it is transmitted through the blood via violent biting turning survivors into frenzied immortals I am Dr. Jonathan Reed I am a vampire Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, so, I believe this is the perfect stopping point. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to send you over to somebody that I haven't raided in a long time. Get ready to raid. Fasten your seatbelts. It was amazing the story that, you know, what transpired with our sister. I think that in any situation in life when you find a relative who's doing very bad things, maybe not even be recognizable anymore, right Lily? People that are just not what they used to be. The solution is to eat a priest and find a sharp stick. Don't do that. Don't actually do that. See you later.